Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken, this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Turan. We are beating the game on the highest difficulty, sometimes uh, with only two um, uh, soldiers' permission. Sometimes we're beating it, sometimes we're getting beaten by it. The last mission was... Uh, mm, yeah, interesting. We got our ass handed to us, which is a great feeling because it means that you can still improve. Um, Renman and Zirkim are going in. I am not sure if we're going to go for the Chosen again. Uh, the Chosen himself does not have any Psy abilities. So short of, of course, uh, the um, Psy Priests. So I think it's not necessary to... Uh, to take uh, the uh, to take uh, the anti psi helmet, but Talon rounds might be quite nice in order to increase the crit chance and even further fuel his uh, new shotgun. So let's see how that is going to work out. I've forgotten to read uh, whether it was a VIP or a dark VIP mission. In both of the cases I am trying to rescue the VIP because I really want to have the extra intel. But just fair warning in advance if it's a dark VIP and the mission gets too hairy, uh, as always, uh, we can just kill the VIP. It will cost us 102 intel, which would suck because we need intel at the moment. But I rather um, am successful in the mission uh, than to fail the mission. Because failing this mission means we would lose uh, Central India and that effectively is negative inter, right? Good, Renman and Zirkim. Probably my favorite duo for those hard missions. It feels like a breeze with uh, the equipment. Like both of them are super strong. Uh, their Shredder, Death from Above, Untouchable combination. It's just extremely strong. It's a true Rescue the VIP mission. Cool. And there we go. Let's get the party started. That's a pretty interesting setup, because if you think about it, we could kind of sneak our way all the way down here. Really good line of sight. Then just go up, get the VIP and run out. And maybe we're, we're going to do that. I really don't like fighting from low ground. The other alternative would be to take the high ground up here. The problem with fighting from low ground is we are not utilizing one of our absolute strongest abilities, which is death from above, for the resets, right? Heading to that location. You can see a priest over there. Closing on target position now. We've got an enemy squad here. We're looking at a priest. I think there was another viper. Got it. Moving. Yeah, and it's also not the worst idea, instead of sneaking through it, to just go heads up with both of them. I found them to be pretty efficient once uh, they engage in combat. It's so pretty much the opposite of uh, Edgar, Alien Poe and Dragonova, who are always trying to stay away from the enemy and be as mindful as possible. This here is pretty much full on, uh, full on in your face. <laughs> Let's go. Are we going to use our first grenade is the question. 
Hmm. Probably not. I have a better idea. This here will trigger Blade Storm twice. And uh, with it, we have a very solid opening. Well, we're getting some extra hits for free. No resources expanded. Also, no explosions are usually up and still creating a zone where uh, with a high noise factor, so the enemies will know that we're there. Pretty solid damage, by the way. We were to move over here. This should probably not trigger the pack back uh, back in the alley. Good. Once he's uh, uh, coming out of his stasis, we are going to kill him. We can grapple up, so that's fine. And this here is a hundred percent kill because we do have the stock. The explosion, though, explosion though might uh, trigger additional enemies. As long as he doesn't just cast stasis but moves or does anything else, we're triggering blade storm. They're trying to pull back. Wonderful, wonderful. We might trigger another pack. We've got here. And by might, I of course meant we are definitely and 100% triggering another pack. Two other packs. Because that is exactly the type of player that uh, we are. Triggering the entire map. Mission was too smooth. No problem. Trigger the map. Okay, so let me think. Grappling. Definitely repositioning to the high ground. That's good because uh, that takes care of uh, the Viper. Can we get a grenade that hits everyone? Yes, we can. Boom. Boom. Okay, so we are looking at one, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. Run and gun. Going in for the kill. 
advanced teamwork over here. Now, let's start. And this here should be a 100% kill. So we're looking at 100, 100, pretty solid 94% chance to kill and yeah, the purifier is not the problem. So let's continue with the Viper, shall we? Yes. Not even close. That was bad. I was hoping we would uh, have a better chance of hitting it. All right, moving over here. On the move. No a so we could kill this guy. With him gone, with him gone, we would have a really, really good chance of surviving all of this. It's just one shot, and both of them have untouchable. They don't do not stand close enough together to um, to get AOE uh, damaged. One shot. That's the untouchable. All right. I'm all right. Nice. He even walks into the blade storm. Perfect. That means I don't need to care about him next turn because he's going to die anyways. Bladestorm will take care of him. Okay, we can reload and then rapid fire to hopefully kill the Andromedon. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of damage. Crits for 20 is crazy. This weapon is awesome. Uh, we're not moving anywhere. I chain shot and kill the purifier as well. I still extra damage. And there we go. We're not going to move. Uh, that was suboptimal because now we can actually. Oh no, wait, we still have untouched. What? What? Where are we? Did we just teleport back? No, we're still on the other side. That's untouchable, but the falling damage still counts.
Yeah, I wasn't calculating the tongue grab in. My bad, clearly. Okay, we're somewhere really, really, really far away. So let's sprint back. I love the new shotgun. It is remarkable. It's dead. It has to be dead. Ready to engage. Okay, we can just overwatch. I'm not even sure if there is much of an enemy force left at that point. We just killed two enormously strong packs and it felt like nothing has happened. Oh really? We can we can move all the way over there. That was a ridiculous far grapple. Moving to position. Good. Let's reload. Overwatch. We can do all of that next turn. We still have nine rounds left. And the sector port just arrived. Okay, sounds like a plan. Good, nice little shredding. Let's just take the sector port out for this round. That makes it so much uh, easy, uh, so much more easy because we don't need to deal with any sort of uh, any sort of his abilities. If we kill him, great. If not, not the end of the world. And seeing that we have some really convenient high high ground uh, right here makes me wonder if we even needed that crit for 20. <laughs> Another crit. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. The damage output is crazy, guys. Now. I mean, that was not even close. Packing in now. Great, we get another uh, four weeks of 50% um, scanning time. 
Perfect. Why am I even bothering to take a real hacker with uh, with us, a specialist? Those guys nail the 10% or the 20% chances all along. Let's conceal ourselves. I just want to make sure we're not triggering another pack just in the middle of this transition. I'm greedy and I want the loot. Advanced laser sight. Not the best loot. I was uh, more hoping for a superior repeater. Enemies moving on our position. Menace 1 5, we're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. We realistically do not need any more experience. Both of them are maximum level. There's nothing that we... Yeah, maybe uh, maybe some loot. But other than that, there is nothing that we would need. What a display of strength. Dominated. We had two picks with the Andromedon and just the death from above situation plus these immense crits, 20 apiece. Nice little um, uh, action economy abuse as well with uh, handing over um, the action unit from one to the other. That was good. Hundred seven into exactly what we needed. Okay, so yeah, we're getting there eventually. Hundred sixty intel. Shall we make contact? Yeah, I think we should. The elder's hunter is after something in this area. Dated. Going to install a radio supply after we um, got all of uh, the the items here. Assorted loot only takes two days now, which is crazy. Advanced hair trigger and a bit of advanced speed. That's okay. Setting course for sector two, Australia. Building still takes the normal time, but we have nothing else. Oh, wait, it doesn't. We completed our research in remarkable time, Commander. Greetings, Commander. Okay, we got another data pad. Might as well do that. I just want the intel at, at this point. Long live the resistance. Hundred additional supply. That is good. We're looking at enough intel to even make contact here. We've located the elders hunter. And experimental am ammunition projects are now completed instantly. That's an okay bonus. I I really like it. Both of these facilities, uh, though, we still have four facilities left over. Wow. 
I'm not sure if I even want to do all of them, but it certainly would help in order to keep Advent down. For now, it's fine. I mean, we only need to make contact to this region here. Um, might as well build a radio station over here. Nice, we got our next weapon. Not that any of those weapons will ever see uh, an, a use in uh, combat, but it's good. We're at least having them. Commander. So no more breakthroughs. I don't think that we need uh, psionics. I much rather... No, we don't need any psionics there. I much rather would like, one second, revival protocol, yes please, thank you. I much rather would like to go into the shadow chamber and continue some of the key research here. We should be able to complete a more thorough analysis of the alien artifacts and data we can recover. The black side bio being one of them, which could be an interesting mission for us. And there is the next mission. Destroy an alien relay with loss. Oh, I really like the loss. Uh, that would be fun. Or getting another grenadier. I don't like protect the divines. As I just don't. I mean, the colonel is great. And having another colonel would be awesome. I'd, hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I really want to play with the loss. And that's an interesting mission. That's clearly the best reward, the Grenadier. But protecting the device, I really don't like that. Elite Spectre, Gatekeeper, Codex, Heavy Mech, poo. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, the Grenadier is... Having a Grenadier is a good argument, but we already have a second Colonel Grenadier. Plus, I like the loss. Maybe we're just going for this here for shits and giggles. What are we need needing to do? Destroy the alien relay? Uh, yeah, that's a timed mission. And the other option would be... to counter this here. I don't know, guys. I need to make up my mind. Our soldiers took some hits during the most recent covert action. But word from the medical team is they'll all be fine. We gained some additional intel on the Chosen as a result of our latest action. We are bound by a common enemy. Remove one block of avatar progress at the end of every month. Um, yes. Thank you, I guess. There is a promotion uh, available for a 14 days mission. I think Mitch Mitchell should get that promotion because that will make him another um, colonel. We cannot uh, we cannot prevent the ambush. That is interesting, which might as well mean. that we put proper soldiers on this mission, such as Wildchild. That could actually be an interesting mission. I mean, we need to still give them some sort of equipment, but I guess it would be a good mission.
Oh, wait a second. We are giving you ore and armor, of course. No. Well, I was hoping we could give her a grappling hook, but apparently I was wrong. So some ammunition for her. And not that it matters, but might as well give her a mind shield. She's going to be the same. I don't even know why we're why I'm preparing this here. It's just going to be the same mission that it uh, that uh, we're always fighting. Some tracer rounds. And blaster launcher. So yeah, 14 days. It, it will take some time, but it means next month we can... Oh. Oh. This is also not too bad, because it would give us our skirmisher back. After Pr uh, Praetor Mox died. That is not too bad. But I really like this here more. I hope all of the edits are still there. Yes, they are. So in 14 days, we know where to find him. Just means next month we can uh, go for the chosen one and kill it. Yeah, and I'll make up my mind which of uh, the guerrilla operations missions I feel like doing. Thank you for watching today. It was a pleasure as always. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Thank you and see you soon. Bye bye.